Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So after nearly three months with no footy, last week we were finally able to rejoice at seeing our favourite teams battling it out once again, albeit with no or very little crowds. We were all hoping for a smooth transition back for the players in the AFL, while still having that lingering knowledge that everything could be upended in a heartbeat. And that's exactly what happened on Saturday when AFL Chief Executive Gillian McLaughlin announced that Essendon's Connor McKenna has tested positive for COVID-19. I'm going to go through a couple of articles to explain the situation and its effects it will have on the AFL going forward. So this is from The Guardian. AFL match postponed as Essendon star Connor McKenna tests positive for COVID-19. Essendon's AFL match with Melbourne has been postponed after Bombers star Connor McKenna tested positive for COVID-19. McKenna, who returned from his native island last month, was due to a feature for the Bombers in their Round 3 clash at the MCG on Sunday. The AFL Chief Executive, Gillian McLaughlin, confirmed the match was postponed at a press conference at the MCG on Saturday. So McLaughlin is quoted as saying, Essendon player Connor McKenna returned a low-grade irregularity yesterday after being tested as part of our COVID-19 protocols. He was tested again today and we were informed this afternoon that the test came back positive. The health department has been notified as per the protocols and we'll be working with them to identify close contacts and isolate them. At the moment, all players and football department staff have been told to isolate until the work is done. McLaughlin revealed McKenna has been tested five times while in hotel quarantine on his return from Ireland and had returned negative results each time. McKenna was kept away from a training session on Saturday morning after returning the irregularity on Friday. McLaughlin said he was tested on Wednesday and was negative and there was such a low level in his test on Friday that it came up as an irregularity and then it was a positive test on Saturday morning. So based on those facts, he's picked it up this week here in Australia. But again, I will defer to the health department. They are the facts as we know them. Further details then emerged of McKenna's breach of AFL protocols for COVID-19. AFL players are allowed to move house and attend inspections if they are selling, according to a document seen and given the green light by the league. The AFL is investigating whether Connor McKenna breached COVID-19 regulations by visiting an open house before he tested positive. Fox40.com.au understands the return to play protocols distributed to players and approved by the AFL in mid-May, says players can, quote, move house, including inspections if selling. The problem here is the distinction between renting and selling, and if the AFL deems the distinction worthy of breach of protocols. Whether an open house is deemed to be a breach of the protocols, we are still working through. Essendon CEO Xavier Campbell told the Herald Sun, after the publication broke the news of McKenna attending an open house inspection. It's believed McKenna did not check with Essendon's compliance officer to ask for permission. If McKenna has broken protocols, he faces a suspension. It is yet to be determined how or when the Irishman was infected with COVID-19. Aside from McKenna, Essendon's entire playing list returned negative results on Saturday night and will be tested again on Monday at Marvel Stadium. It's unclear how many of his teammates will need to quarantine for 14 days and whether the Bombers will be able to fill the side at all. If we look at the fixture based on the quarantine period of 14 days, Essendon is supposed to play Collingwood on Friday, July 3rd, which is day 13. So that game might be pushed to the Saturday and we'll swap with another game from that Saturday to the Friday game to allow that 14 day quarantine period to expire. This next article is from 7 News where they talk about the potentials of the low level irregularity. Essendon Chief Executive Xavier Campbell told Triple M Radio that there is advice McKenna's low level positive result means there is a higher chance teammates were not infected. The health department is in the process of determining McKenna's close contacts. Regardless of whether they test negative, they will also have to isolate for 14 days. 7 News reported on Sunday night that both the McKenna's housemates have so far tested negative. Essendon say McKenna is still asymptomatic despite his positive test, and Campbell has flagged that it may become an important test case on returning travellers. Australian health authorities have not had this much data on a returning traveller in terms of the frequency of tests combined with information on McKenna's movements back in Australia. While it'll be difficult to pinpoint the source of McKenna's COVID level, Essendon sources say it's possible he was infected in Ireland or has antibodies associated with his trip. Now, as we heard Gillian McLaughlin say, based on his evidence, that it looks like he picked it up in Australia. But Essendon saying it's possible he was infected in Ireland or has antibodies associated with his trip. Now, that's what we've been seeing with a number of these cases. People test negative, but then they get to that end of that 14-day incubation period, and then they turn up a positive result. We've seen that, especially in Victoria, which is alarming, considering that the AFL is predominantly based in Melbourne. And finally, let's look at the impact it's having on the league as a whole. This is from Australian Associated Press. 
It says AFL limits contact amid virus fears. So the AFL has banned clubs from conducting full contact training in groups of more than nine players and staff as it grapples with its latest coronavirus crisis. The decision was made and relayed to clubs on Monday in order to mitigate risk after Essendon's Connor McKenna returned a positive COVID-19 result over the weekend. Clubs will be permitted to continue contact training in groups of up to nine, and larger groups can still conduct ball movement drills providing there is no contact. The new rules have been put in place for at least four weeks and will apply to all 18 clubs. The AFL will review its decision on or before July 20 and make any necessary adjustments at the time. Additionally, players and club staff must not visit other houses or have visitors in their house in a 48-hour period before and up to their weekly pre-match day COVID-19 test. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the whole Conor McKenna COVID-19 situation and where the AFL is heading. I hope we don't have another delay like we did last time and we can just get back to watching some good footy. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, share this one around, and I'll see you in the next one.